Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Rome Total Realism with me, Grey Hunter, where last time we kicked some Seleucid ass. Well, actually, technically we didn't. We kicked the Ptolemyx ass because they decided that they were going to land on Cyprus. Those sons of bitches, but they got what was coming to them. We kicked the crap out of them, and now we are besieging Pele 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 Papos. Pele. We are besieging Pele. <laughs> anyway, um. What we want to do next is we want to crush resistance in this pocket and hopefully manage to establish a defensive area that they won't actually break through because if they do, that would be very, very bad. So, problem is, we have to get down here and take Jerusalem as well. And we have to take Alexandria. So what I think we'll do, what I think we'll do is this. When he has his full army assembled, we will march down this way, and instead of sailing them to the far east, we will base his army out of uh, Crete. And instead of sending him off to fight, what we'll do, off to fight the Seleucids, that is, what we'll do is we'll slowly move across to Cyprus, and then we will send one, maybe two armies down here to hold this area, to hold the uh, the Nile Delta. And we'll take out Alexandria, Memphis, and as but hopefully these two cities as well. There's one, two, three crossing points. So ideally, we would send three armies down here. Just to hold this area. Do we have enough spies that I can move this fellow? Do I have someone who we can move down to cover him? Uh, yeah, there's not really anything over there anymore, so you move down to here. You move over, actually, you move first. You move down there. You move to about where he was. Alright, cool. Now we have vision on all of this. So one, two, three crossing points that we must guard. So that's a thought. Uh, we also want to send a legion up this way because the one settlement that we have to take in this Iberian Peninsula is Oscar, I'm pretty sure. We don't have to take any others. Yeah, we don't have to take any others in the Iberian Peninsula. We just have to take Oscar and Alicia. So, 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 that sounds like a plan. We will build armies over here. We will sail them. See how how done was this army? It's it's actually almost done. General. Nice the orator. He's 44, he's a very good soldier though. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab his most experienced men from here. Actually, we'll hire this and this as well. Okay, so we'll take him, 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 and him. I will send them back towards Italy. Ideally, we would have another general down here to replace him. But our options in that regard are fairly limited. I think I was sending missile troops already, though. Yeah, I was, actually. Actually, no, this is, this is good, because now I can move these guys down here, and they will make up the, uh, the allied contingent of this fellow's army. Alright, cool. We have a plan. We have a plan. We do. So, he's got some Skatari Falcata, some Iberians, which are basically Skatari Falcata, and he's got lots of good missile troops. Perfect. Now you, you need to move down to these docks and take on Nice the Orator. And then next turn, you need to head... Oh, you won't make it next turn. Okay, well next turn, you can just head to Agrigento. Actually, that's probably better anyway. Now you, this turn, can hire me one more cohort because I won't be coming back here for a while with these fellows. And then hopefully we can obtain some more missile troops as we sail across this way. Okay, perfect. Now what do the build queues look like for you? You have got one turn left on construction for that. You have no turns left. You have actually constructed a unit, but you have not sent it to him. There we go. Same with you. You're constructing a cohort. Okay, I think we're I think we're gonna be ready. We 
don't really need three units of cavalry for him, do we? Actually, I might leave this unit of cavalry here anyway. Or I might send the one that's coming from here down to here. Actually, yeah, that seems like a better idea. Okay. We've already got another army on the way. I'm wondering if I shouldn't turn them around, though. Uh, you can grab those Rodians. Do I need another army to head into this theater of war? Not particularly. Because we can probably crush these guys when they come and try to force us off these bridges. We have one unit that's currently not engaged under Picta. We have three armies holding this area. I'd like to make it two on this bridge and this bridge. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to avoid it. We're going to go straight for Egypt now. So you hang out down here. I need this navy to make its way up to Sparta. And then sail across to here next turn. Okay. I think we're ready. I think we are prepared. I know it's been uh, a little bit of time on this turn, but last time I recorded I didn't get to end it because I had a lot of problems with my hard drive, which I figured out was actually because Adobe Premiere doesn't actually delete the preview files from rendering, so I had about a terabyte's worth of... It seems stupid in hindsight, but it's because I didn't delete preview files. Because I don't delete projects, I just keep creating new ones. It's, yeah. I do wonder sometimes, I really do. Okay, so we are done, I think, and turn and see what these Seleucid sons of bitches bring to us. Oh, hello. Really? For real? That was your grand master plan. You just lost 4,000 men coming across this bridge and your grand master plan is to throw another 3,000 at it. I'm not sure you understand how this all works, but okay. Okay, I can, yeah, yeah, that sounds good to me. I think that this bridge is going to have like 20 victory markers at the end of it, but of course you could only see one, because they'd all be on the same exact tile, which is unfortunate. You should have got like a, a list of heroic victories so you could see one after the other what happened. There stand the warriors of Seleucia. They are right to be proud, for they are worthy foes. Are they? They seem like idiots. They will try to cross the river, but we must stop them. That is the general idea, there are yes. There more of them than there are of us, but so what? We may be able to hide men in the woods nearby. With luck, that would be a surprise for our foes. They're coming across a bridge. I have never lost a battle against these people. Why should I start losing now with men such as you at my command? Another victory is at hand. Now okay. I say... This far and no further. Here we make a stand. You all know my worth and what I have done before. Of the foes who attacked me in the past, few ever got to boast of their success. I'm pretty sure you've never lost. Okay. Today we make our own fates. The omens may say that we face disaster, but I the omens are wrong. Differently. Can any true man do otherwise? And remember this above all. Our Roman gods are watching. Make sure they are not ashamed. Zah. All right. So let's see. It says we've got men coming in behind us. That should be the small, uh, that really, really, really small unit of um, mixed cavalry and infantry under that general who was wandering around behind us. So we should be able to deal with them fairly easily. I'm going to place these three units here. No, just, just stand like that. Thank you. Um, I'm going to put these fellows
across here. But I'm going to keep these slingers back this way. Because I'd imagine that they're going to come in directly behind us. So, oops. So Isastadi will cover these fellows. And we'll give them this unit as well. The cavalry won't really have much to do anyway. These two... just be a sort of floating reserve. You'll be in the middle. Ready to go either way. These guys will be our reserve for this. And these guys will be the reserve reserve. I know. The reserves of the reserves of the reserves. But it's necessary when you're fighting on a bridge. Sometimes you have to be able to pour enough men into the, into the gap and that's what will win. And you guys can just chill over here because I don't really have a use for you and same with you just just chill over this way okay I think we're ready let's do it the enemy have brought up more men have they go, go, go. they brought up so many more men it's a veritable horde all right go Yes, yes, I see the horde. It is coming towards us. So many men. Now you probably should remain kind of in the middle. Say there. Yeah. Oh, fire arrows are a no no. We don't want those. No fire arrows. Alright, there we go. Hopefully our hoplites will be able to do well. I guess those fire arrows are kind of useful, but they don't do too much damage, really. Because the idea here is that we killed the general to cause a panic, but so far that's not happened. We kind of want them to come across, though. Come on. Oh, oh, mercenary hoplites. You, you got... Oh, yeah. Jump in there. Go, go, go. Get in. Get in. Alright, what's going on over here? Nothing significant. Oh, God. That is a lot of dead hoplites. Really, General Man? Really? That... Yeah, that that's not your best move. Running into me like that is a good way to die. We'll just do the quick rally thing to make sure everybody stays in. I'm fairly certain we got this, though. The whole killing the general to make them panic thing. Unless this is... No, there was only one general with this unit, wasn't there? I think so. Pretty sure I only remember one. Oh, hello. That's new. Okay, one general's dead. And now his men fear us. Completely forgot about putting the slingers out in front because I'm an idiot. Charge. Hopefully we can catch them. Boo! Oh no, 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 no. They just got away, didn't they? Son of a bitch. Alright, turn around. No, no, keep, keep running. Running is the way we do things here. Okay, it's time to throw the reserves in. General's dead. Good. God be praised. The enemy general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. Damn right. All right, stand there. You guys stand here too. All right, cool. So we've killed both the generals. That's good. Those guys are running away. What are you doing? Oh, God. Oh, good God. They're all... Yeah. Okay, you guys stop shooting. Just stop. There they go. Fighting to the death. I don't think they'll actually kill all that many of my men. Simply because they're in a meat grinder. But that is... That, that is deadly. 
Okay, Amphion of Side is dead, and so is Anaximander of Biblis. Dead men kill no Romans. The enemy army is routing. Praised. The Good. enemy's hearts are full of fear, and now they flee. That is the way I like it. Full of fear and fleeing. And there's still six mercenary hoplites going at it. You gentlemen are amazing. Ah, I speed you up. Sploosh. All of the splooshing. Yeah, that didn't go so well, did it? The enemy show their true virtue. Uh, no, continue. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. The enemy army is dead. The gods have favored you. The enemy are destroyed. Yes, Your they are. Is complete. You see that marsh pit of celebration? Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! The Republic of Rome. Fuck yeah! Okay, so we killed three thousand two hundred and thirty-nine of them in total. Good lord. 30 men out of the lot survived. So did we get any of those? Um, oh, we got some of the mercenaries back. That's good. We weren't so lucky with the Sertian Slingers. That's okay. I'm pretty sure we have another um, understrength unit of those anyway. Somewhere. <laughs> We've probably got something of something that will go with them. You know, dribs and drabs. Okay. I didn't really do anything. I don't like it when you stop playing my triumphant music. I fucked them up. Keep playing my triumphant music. Okay, we'll build that proconsul's palace. City has expanded. And we got... Oh, Sabinus's son got married. Augustus Sulpulcius Galba. Where was he again? Oh, good. He, uh, he can go visit... You can go visit um, Bibulus. Yes. You need to go. You need to go visit. Because you need to give him that surgeon. Surgeon. Heal them. As uh, any of these. No, not really. None of those are appropriate. Okay, you can go back to managing your city now. Imperator. Done deal. Uh, who... Oh, did I close that message? I did, didn't I? I didn't mean to. Uh, somebody else had a surgeon as well. But I can't remember where he was. Is it you? No? Is it you, perhaps? Useless. Yeah, it was you. Okay, is there anyone around who needs one? Drusus already has one, I think. Oh, no, he doesn't. Drusus, you need one, then. Hmm. How long would it take for him to get to Drusus? A little bit. What are you doing? No, stay in there. Stay in there and make me money. Uh, construction... Torrentum has highways, good. Chinoa now has a governor's palace, double good. Uh, you can build yourself a port, and then build stone walls, just to be sure that we're safe. Don't need a larger temple or anything like that, they're actually quite chuffed. Lots of good things. Hadramentum. How you doing? Ooh, these guys are not pleased. Okay, we'll lower their tax rates. Oh yeah, you're really pissed. Yeah, we'll lower the tax rates. Thapsus is already constructing more happy things. I I really don't like the way Squalor works in um in Rome Total War. Harlequinassus is done, Snope is done. Did I remember? I think I did, but I can't recall. Yeah, I did I did order up a phase one auxilia. I'm just not building it right this second. Okay, that that's fine though. That is fine. So we have built a great many things. You need to move your soldiers over there. Um I actually don't need this message up, so we'll get rid of it. 
And you come here. And you now have two units of cavalry, don't you? Yes. Come here, Quintus. March down this way. March over there. Fleet ready. You sail for yes, me. And then hang out in that captain. port. Sir. And you get over here. Can you guys make it to him? You can. Alright, nice. Actually, you know what? Forward. Head for Tarentum. Out of move, sir. Imperator. Unless I can get this fleet to you quicker by going the other way. Or this fleet, even. Oh, perfect. Made for Croton. Croton will do. Okay. And where were you? You were here. Hmm. There's no real safe port we can get to, but I don't think there's actually any rebels around this area anyway. I don't think. Hmm. Still, to be safe, we shouldn't really port hop that far. Can you make... Yeah, you can make it to a different port. Go to Syracuse. So these guys can go to Agrigento. There we are. That's better. Much better. Okay, you guys should probably be... Oh, you are already churning out more legionaries. Good, 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 good. Give me a few more. Was Athens doing that too? Yes, it was. Oh, and you do get a different legion. I'm not sure if I noticed that before, but you do. Good. It'll make things nice and easy to keep track of. Okay. You can keep hiring legionaries, getting them sorted. Ratiaria should have some Thracians. That is what I'm talking about. Give me these Thracians. Start marching them down to the war zone. They are required. Well, they are excellent, excellent auxiliary infantry. An alliance between the Iberians and the Seleucids. Cheeky bastards. So who's left in total? Now, can't use the scroll wheel, the scroll wheel on that. Who's left in total? The Egyptians, the Seleucids, the Carthaginians, the Germans, the Thracians, the Numidians, the Sarmatians, and the Iberians. We are allies with three and at war with another three. There is one neutral person in this entire uh, in this entire world, basically. And it's these fellas. They're the only neutral people with us. The others are either our allies or our enemies. That's intriguing. Okay. So... I'm tempted. Uh, have you got the gates open? No, you don't. Alright, well. You can hand off to this fellow. Because he knows what he's doing when it comes to sieging stuff. And Picta, I need you on that boat. Yes, I know it will lift the siege. That was all part of my plan, believe it or not. You can get in there. No, don't open that. Get in there. 85% chance of opening the gates. And of course we failed. Wow. That is one powerful as fuck navy. I don't want to mess with it. Okay. So we have a couple of options with this navy and the army aboard it. Really? I fucking hate pirates. <laughs> In case you haven't noticed, they kind of give me the shits. Okay. Hmm. We only really have one staging port at the moment. Which is a problem because for one turn at least, whoever lands first will be alone. More, more than likely. We have to take Alexandria. That That's a thing that must happen. Can you actually hire me spies? Can it be done? It cannot. Why not? I thought these things let you hire spies. I guess not. Um, 
We'll build that. Can you hire me spies? No. Adana? No. Is it just me or was... I thought that those let you hire spies. Maybe it's this. Yeah, must be a level of market. Okay, well I need two spies from you. Two spies from you. And... I guess that'll have to do. Oh hey, we still have those war elephants, I forgot about them. They've just been sitting there for god knows how long. I just, I just left them there after longest left because he didn't need them. You can combine, actually. Tiberius and Appius. I'll move you across there. You can move into port here. Okay, so that's two armies that we could send down this way. Hmm. We have three prepared and ready to go. No, he doesn't need the Velites. Forget about it. You need to get me some more legionaries that can head into Gaul. And get some spies. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool becoming a lot more costly we might actually have to start building money making buildings again how much money are we gonna go down yeah 10 grand then again some of that is from buildings so there's that you're almost done with your governor's palace that's good I can then actually why have I not pumped your tax rate back up again there we go that's better Nemirius the harsh unlike his dad Okay, I think we're good. I think we are good. So, let's quick save that again. Uh, where do I want to send this army? They cannot actually make it down here. And that's with the movement that Summer gives them. We might have to even take a city over here first. Before we can do anything. I'm tempted to land near here and threaten Antioch. Just because it'll force them to move out of the way. Because then we can take Tarsus. Hmm. I don't know. Can you get into... You can get into both of these. Which one has... This one has a port. Does Antioch have a port? Does it have sea access? It does have sea access. How many people are in it? Not that many. I wonder why the population growth is going down. Your Honor. Okay. Well, you go in there. And waiting. There's a 16% chance of opening it. So this one, this one lets them get Legion Arroy. No, stop doing that. Does this one let them get Legion Arroy? Oh, snap. Oh, wait, no, he did get in. I thought he died. Right, new expands. Trade increase. Hang on, is that this guy? Did he get both of those? Yes. Oh, no, Cassius the Cunning is our faction leader, wherever he is. Where is our faction leader? Show me, no, show me this. Where is my faction leader? Where is his picture? Show me his picture, there he is. He's age 56, he's got a spy master now. This man is an expert at collating information and persuading others to spy for his superiors. Minus 20% to agent cost in governed settlements, that's pretty good. That is a decent bonus. Alright, so, could you, no, I was thinking about possibly trying to perch an army on this, on this place here, but in hindsight, that's actually a very bad idea, isn't it? 
Yeah. Because then they get pincered. Because I'm sure there's armies in this area. Um, hmm. I don't really need you to be standing there. I can I can see what's going on in there. So move over here instead. Great. Okay, now we can see what's going on. So I'm hesitant to make a move. Because right now they are actually funneling all their men into the spot that I want them to. So give it one more turn and maybe they'll move uh, Perdicus. Perdicus over here so I'm going to wait a turn and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to attack Salamis yeah we're going we're to besiege Salamis we might not actually take it with this army but we will besiege it even though I'd rather yeah I'd, I'd really rather wait but I want those ports. 